Guys, Bitcoin has had a drop and right now we are sitting at a very critical point in terms of where the next major Bitcoin move is going to be. And guys, there's only six to 10 days left until you're going to see something very, very violent in terms of Bitcoin price action. So guys, today I need to prepare you for that. I will talk about the reason why we saw a drop for Bitcoin. I will talk about what's been going on with the spot Bitcoin ETF stuff. You need to know right now if you are at all involved in the crypto space and also if you're involved in altcoins. Today, guys, I'm going to also talk about what you need to understand if you're using these trading strategies. So if you're using these trading strategies, guys, make sure to watch this video from the beginning until the end. Very key stuff to talk about in regards to that as well. So welcome back, everybody. My name is Chris, bringing you cryptocurrency videos every day, teaching you how to make money in this market. If you're new to the channel, then make sure to subscribe and activate the bell right now. So let's get straight into it, guys. And what you can see is that the red line has actually been broken down into, you can see the Bitcoin price, the bears managed to push us down below the red line here. We did see inside of this orange box, we did have a big uh, bounce. However, look at this. Now, because we broke down from this red line, this is now going to prove to be resistance for Bitcoin. And if you look at the daily time frame, guys, um, you can see that we closed one candle below here and this candle has opened uh, inside or like below the red line. So what we want to see today, guys, is we want us to go up immediately above this point, right? So for the bulls to still show that they are in control of the market, we need to hopefully today break through this point. If we cannot break through this point and if we consolidate and continue to trade right below this one, then it is looking likely that we're going to trade in this range in between the, uh, well, basically inside of the orange box here, between $42,000 and $40,000, right? So uh, as you know, guys, in yesterday's video, I talked about a potential top for the traditional markets and how I think that uh, we, uh, or how I thought that we were at a local top and that we were going to have some pullbacks for for the traditional markets. And this is the reason also, well, it's not entirely the reason, but of course this also affected Bitcoin. Now what I will say, and I will be 100% transparent with this, I thought my go-to case was for the red line to hold up Bitcoin here. So even though we did see this uh, drop yesterday, like I talked about in yesterday's video, and by the way, look at this, we got supported right on the dollar of my, of my orange line here. So yeah, we did see, just like I anticipated, a drop for the traditional markets. However, where I was a little bit uh, wrong, or the markets, uh, I mean, I thought that this red line would hold up the Bitcoin price, and it did several times, but ultimately it didn't manage to hold it up, um, like it held it up multiple times, but then ultimately now we are trading below it. And just like I said, for the bulls to regain control of this market, we need to see a pump above this level, and consolidate about this level and then continue towards the upside. While we are below this point, uh, that is looking likely that we're going to see some more downside. However, as you know, we are in very, very critical and very volatile times, guys. And with the Bitcoin ETF approaching or this decision of the spot Bitcoin ETF uh, approaching, you are going to see even more volatility than what you've been seeing here recently. So you have to be prepared for that, guys. Before now, in terms of traditional markets, we are still being held up by my orange line here and there's still that chance for us to on the daily time frame break above this point and consolidate above this red line and close a couple of candles above this um, red line here. So that is what I am watching right now. For Ethereum, we are still trading in within this range. So nothing has changed here compared to my last few videos. Go-to case is still the same, that you need to be aware of these uh, support and resistance points. And if we jump back to Bitcoin, as you know, and I've been saying this, I do not mind a drop for Bitcoin at all. In fact, my ideal scenario would be for Bitcoin to continue to go down here so that we are at a much lower price on the date of the spot Bitcoin ETF decision. So I do not mind us going down here and this also ties into my trading strategies which I am going to cover in the end of this video. So first let's talk about my general outlook here. And just like I said, I do not mind Bitcoin going down even lower. It's just going to be the lower we are at the point in which the Bitcoin ETF decision is going to be, um, the better, in my opinion. So I do not mind that. But 
If you look at what's uh, been happening here recently in terms of the spot Bitcoin ETF, yesterday was the final day for amendments for the spot Bitcoin ETF providers, meaning it is the last time they could make amendments to their applications. Now, there is one key thing to take note of here. So all of these ETF providers, they need to have what they call AP, authorized participant, meaning someone that basically has a good reputation and they can back up these ETFs. Now, just to show you um, kind of like how false of a picture these traditional entities are trying to do, as you know, um, a couple of, uh, what was it, like a couple of days ago, JP Morgan CEO said that if he was in charge, and this was in Congress, if he was in charge, he would shut Bitcoin down or shut crypto down. And um, this is what he said. And now, and this was JP Morgan, and guess what? BlackRock now naming JP Morgan as authorized participants for its proposed Bitcoin ETF. So on one hand, they are saying, oh, we should ban everything that has to do with crypto, the CEO himself. You can see December 6th, so it was just like uh, 25 days ago. And then on the other hand, they are working with the uh, ETF providers to, uh, to make this actually happen. So you can just see how, don't trust everything you see, everything they say, just watch what they're doing. And uh, you can see what they're doing is getting involved in crypto heavily at the moment. So we're most likely gonna see a decision for the Spot Bitcoin ETF next week. So the next six days are going to be absolutely fantastic. If not next week, but I do think it's more likely that it's gonna be next week. If not next week, then early the week after. But uh, yeah, um, you know my scenario already. If Bitcoin goes, like I talked about this in length, make sure to go back and watch my previous videos. If you want to know about exactly what I am doing personally, how I'm going to play this and how you need to be prepared for every single scenario. If Bitcoin has a massive drop, if Bitcoin has a massive pump, if it gets denied, if it gets approved, everything. So make sure to watch the last few videos I've been making here on the channel. But for me, you already probably know by now what I am going to do myself. So um, miners have been selling Bitcoin and this is kind of the other part of the uh, whole ordinals uh, kind of hype that is going on right now is that miners are earning so much in Bitcoin fees and they are then dumping it into the market. So you saw some miners take, uh, well, take I would say take profit, but they were selling a lot of uh, Bitcoin into the open market the last few days. So that is also something that we can be aware of. So now let's finally talk about my trading strategy. So my trading strategies have been accumulating quite significant um, positions now for Bitcoin and Ethereum. So fast bought for Bitcoin, eight positions. Sl uh, yeah, slow bought, four positions. Fast cycle bot four positions as well, and even more for Ethereum. So my take profit for Bitcoin in general is forty three thousand dollars. All of those positions, or uh, all of the bots, will take profit. And for Ethereum, if we reach uh, two thousand three hundred and sixty two, sorry two thousand three hundred and sixty five, then all of the Ethereum bots will take profit at that point as well. So. Um, I need to warn you as well, as you know, if you do not understand how these bots work, they buy the dip. So make sure if you're using these ones, make sure to once again, even though you probably have been seeing it pre previously, but make sure to go back and watch the video at the top of the description, showing you the importance of making sure you do not get liquidated. If we see another big drop here for Bitcoin, then the bots are going to continue to accumulate, but we're getting to the limit, especially for the uh, cycle bots here. We have six out of eight. So you do not want to get liquidated. Make sure to watch that video from the beginning until the end. I go through the reasons why very, very clearly and what you need to do to prevent that. So make sure to watch that video. For me, I have managed risk. And if we see another big pullback for Bitcoin, I am prepared for that. And if we see a big pullback for Ethereum, I'm prepared for that as well. And I will just continue to buy the dip on the way down here. I do think uh, granted the volatility that we're gonna see for Bitcoin and Ethereum in the next, um, well, call it next few weeks, I do think that these ones are going to thrive, but we still, of course, have to manage risk. So if you want to use these trading strategies and the uh, profits on my bots on uh, BitCat are also obviously very, very high. But yeah, like I said, if you want to use these trading strategies right now, uh, on BitCat, the slots are still full. So you need to click on slot reminder to get reminded whenever the new slots opens up. Uh, but 
they are open on uh, OKX. So if you want to use it on OKX, go down to the description of this video, click on this link right here, claim up to $60,000 right now, and uh, then with one click, you can set up these bots right here. But just like I said, watch the video at the top of the description to understand exactly how this works. And for BitCat, if you cannot use OKX, click on this link right here, claim up to $8,400, and then click on, well, both of these ones are full right now, but click on one of these links, and then click subs sorry, slot reminder so you get reminded as soon as a new slot is being opened. So it's first come, first serve, basically. So you want to click on slot reminder. Okay, guys, that's what I got for you. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one.